Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll know how to get the area of a triangle using the sine law after we have proved the sine law in both of the acute angle triangle and the obtuse angle triangle in the previous videos. So, we already know that the area of the triangle equals half of the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. If you apply this rule to the triangle we got here, so the area will equal half of the base, which is AB, multiplied by the height, which is CX, let's say. So, as this here height is perpendicular on the base, so it forms a right angle triangle. It forms a right angle triangle. So, we want to obtain the value of Cx as, let's say this is, for example, 60 degree so, sine measure angle B, the sine of this angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So, it equals Cx over BC. So, the Cx equals, we multiply the expression by BC to get BC sine B. So let's name the sides by the names of the angles opposite to them. We get here A, B, and C. So the CX equals A sine B. And the AB here, this one equals C. So let's substitute with these values in the original low. We get A equals half, AB we said equals C, and CX equals A sine B. So, this is the C side, and this is the A side, and the B is the angle which is found between the both of them. It's found in the middle. So, this is the low that we use to get the area of the triangle by means of the sine low. Get two any sides, get any two sides of a triangle and the sign of the angle which is found between them and you get the area of the triangle. Because if you apply this horizontal or, or this perpendicular height to the side of BC, we get the area equals half BC sine A and we get also half we said the BC CA and the AB sine C so it's that simple you write the three sides and the last one you get the sine of its angle BC sine A AB sine C and CA sine B this is how to get the area of a triangle using this silo. And this is it for today. The next time we will have examples to practice the silo. And until then, I thank you for watching. See you next time.